for this guy. And Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so it's, I know he wasn't saying that I am that person, but it, it put me in that bracket, and I did not appreciate that one bit. So, you know, there's people buried in the desert for less than that. So Floyd needs to understand before he speaks who he is speaking about, and that is as simple as that. Yeah, it looks like a orange cotton candy. Uh, you look like a 50-year-old retired skateboarder. <laughs> <laughs> a little fat old man you look like. You my fat. Jose Aldo backed out. Mm -hmm. He was gonna fight you, backed out and uh, said it was due to a rib injury, but he's been cleared to fight by a doctor. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened? <sighs> I mean, the man is running scared. I, can, I cannot <laughs> force a man who is not willing to step in and fight. I cannot force him into the octagon to face me, but really I cannot hold any grudge towards him because I would not want to face me either because <laughs> I, would... <laughs> I, I was going to destroy him. Make you, were going to, him. you were going to destroy him. You, and that was, you think it was pure fear. He's the reason he backed it, out. It, it, he has been medically cleared to fight. Doctors have looked at him, examined him. He went and saw a gynecologist and it turns out it was just a little bit of period. He has been cleared to fight. He's a tall American. He's experienced. Yeah. Um, he's been around the game a long time. Okay. There he is. He's a... He's not the best looking guy, I'm not, you know what I mean, but I, I wanted a, a better looking opponent, but it, it is what it is. He... <laughs> but, uh, no, he, 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 he caught me out, you know. Why what? did you want a better looking opponent? I don't know, I was just, you know, until, I don't know, he's an ugly, he's an ugly, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's an experienced guy. I, I'm, I'm really sorry that I couldn't fight him the last time, and when, when it comes time, time to fight him now, I'm going to kick his ass. Oh, can you say what you thought when, t when you saw him there? What was your reaction? I, I honestly, the first thing I said to him was, wow, I didn't think I'd see you again. So I was actually happy to see him. I shook his hand. I embraced him. I gave him a little cuddle. I told him everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. It will be over before you know it. Just please show up December 12th. So I, I don't want to scare him anymore. He's petrified. He went running before. So now I'm going to take the opposite approach. Cuddle him. Look after him. Whisper sweet nothings. Tell him it's going to be all right. It will be over quick. And hopefully get him, in, get him into that octagon December 12th. And then end his career. I was just giggling at his little soft body. I, I, I've never seen a skinny guy. How can a fat guy be so skinny at the same time? I've never... It's, it amuses me, but... Um, uh, this is a question for both McGregor and uh, Cowboy. I see you both winning the championship coming up soon. Could you see yourself fighting each other coming up in the next year? Yeah, go ahead, McNugget. You want to answer that or no? Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> McGregor, you're winning. Don't worry about that. Right, Love you, Cowboy. Uh, yeah, man. His chin, his chin is deteriorating. Every single contest he gets in, he hits one knee. He does a gust of wind and he does the chicken dance. You know what I mean? Coming up against me, that's not going to be good. You know? I was wondering. We're going to talk about money because we are the business network and the, the business of the Ooh. UFC and all that I'll sort of I'll take over stuff. from here, Nate. You can bounce. <laughs> take, take a coffee break, Nate. And by coffee break, I mean bring no. me my coffee. No. They want you to give us a quick count to ten, both of you gentlemen, if you don't mind, just if you wouldn't mind counting to ten. Nate can only count to five. <laughs> ten. <laughs> oh. Count to five, Nate, will you, if you can. You can't. You put that coffee. I ain't counting. How about and that? hurry up with that coffee. Do you have any thoughts on Dennis Siver? Um, my thoughts on Dennis Siver is he's a midget German steroid head. That's my, that's my thoughts on him. So I don't have any thoughts other than that. But if you think, you said congratulations, I'm now number nine. If you think I celebrate number nine, you're highly mistaken, my friend. I don't give a shit about rankings. As far as I'm concerned, I'm... Otario, Otario! Otario, Otario! <laughs> you know what that means? Pussy. <laughs> And Connor, Fabrício Verdun, he told us in Brazil that you try to train uh, at King's MMA. 
for, again, for the fight against Jose Aldo. Is that true? Why would I want to train in that bum gym? <laughs> I train with my own people. I have since day one. That man needs to get his facts straight before I roll in there and buy that gym and turn it into a fucking dump. You know what I mean? Not nada. Chad was, Chad was kicking his ass. Has he heard about jujitsu? Does he know what wrestling is? Chad took that fight with, with two weeks noise. It looked like a turtle. Well, at the, at, the end of it, at the end of it, he was the turtle. But as far as I'm concerned, when you fought Chad, he rearranged your face. You, you haven't looked right since. After that five-round Mendez fight, which arguably we could have went to him, you look like you've had a stroke. The left side of your face is drooping. I'm worried about you. I, honestly, I'm worried. I, I love you. I love you like my bitch. Semana I just want to make sure you're okay. Semana passado, she Get yourself medically tested because that your sushi. face is drooping. Really don't care. Like he tell can him do whatever he wants, and I'll continue to be the champion. He, he said, "Tell him he's his dad." Uh, uh, my my father raised me like this, uh, like a man. Tell he's, him I he's said, not. "I am his daddy." Ele tá falando. Ele é seu pai. Nunca vai ser. Sit on my lap. Nunca vai ser. Tá mais fácil. Sit on my lap. Eu domino. Sit on my lap. Eu domino. Sometimes it's a mission, but but in the end, my hands raised every time, and I'm 100% confident in that. You know. Um, you know, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a vision of what's going to happen, as you can clearly see. Uh, yeah, throughout training camp, you definitely have shots that you see, that you feel cracking, you know, you, f you feel them shots happen, you know. Um, his weakness is obviously his chin, you know, it, it, it's, uh, look, don't get me wrong, I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly from the back ass of nowhere. You know, I've nothing against the guy, you know what I mean? I'm sure he grew up in, 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 in a circus or a fair, or, you know, he's a nice little kid. He, so, Cletus, or, you know, his cousin's probably named Cletus or something. I don't he's a nice kid. I felt the finish was there for me, and I injured my knee midway through the second. I, I just can't get it out of my head, but looking back, I should have just pulled my knee from my leg and hit him with it, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm... Um, I just went with what was comfortable, and what was comfortable was get the motherfucker to the ground, you know what I mean? I just kind of... And just play it from there, you know what I mean? We get, we get looked after when we finish. This promotion wants finishes, you know what I mean? And that's what I'm looking for. These custom-made suits aren't cheap, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this, this solid gold pocket watch. <laughs> Three people died making this watch, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I need, to, I need to put people away. I need them big fights. Or I'm gonna end up in debt pretty fast, you know what I mean? So I'm looking to, I'm looking to hurry it along and Finish everyone, you know what I mean? So that's, that's my thoughts on, on it. Well, the support out there was unbelievable. It, it was green walking out there. The place was green. There was green flags, fucking leprechauns floating around. <laughs> it was unbelievable, you know what I mean? It was, it was brilliant. So one more thing that I forgot too when I was... He was extremely overweight and he had to cut down to make that 155 pound limit. And then the king calls and says, you're up again, kid. And now he's got to do it all over again. So, I, I mean, just looking at him, he's aged 25 years in, in, the, in the last two weeks. So, um, I can only imagine how he's feeling. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I hope he shows up. But if he shows up December 12th, the division will be killed, like I predicted. And then it's on to the 155, stuck in the mud division. Between Ricardo and Frankie and Chad, who do you think is the strongest mixed martial artist? I, I feel I'd feel comfortable against both. Frankie has has held a lightweight title. He's challenged at a high level his whole career. He he, he fights with his heart. But again, he's an aging competitor. He's on the he's on on the on the downside of his career. I think that's an accurate assessment. The same with Cub. I believe he's he's aging. He looks 95 years old. I say it every time. But for me personally, you know, I have nothing against Frankie. Um, I respect his style, but I would like Cub to win for the specific reason that he seems to think that he has been promised a UFC title shot if he wins uh, this fight against Frankie. So I want to, I want him to win that contest, and then I will bake a freshly made pie and smack him clean in the face with it when, when I get the title shot. 
If you look, if you look back at the last uh, featherweight contest in Mexico, it was between a guy who, who had a horrendous fight against Jose Aldo, Ricardo Lamas. He fought like a pussy. He ran for five rounds. And then you look at Dennis Bermudez, who's on a false win streak. Holloway beat him. So these are two average, okay, journeyman fighters. Yet there was so much light on that fight, so much attention on two decision. You know, Dennis is a decision machine. Uh, and, and Ricardo's fought like a pussy. So they and they got and they still got that exposure. People are even talking about Nick Lentz. Like, who gives a shit about Nick Lentz, really? Now before I came along, they can say all they want, but they're up here. They're trying to talk like I'm trying to talk. They're rocking the suits and everything. You know what I mean? But there is only one. It's you. Just City, you know, Ireland number two, I like to call it. And then, you know, it, it's on to it's on to big business. Jose will will be told what to do. He will he he will uh, be told he must fly economy to Ireland, fill out an 80,000 seat football stadium, break records, highest gate, highest attendance, highest pay per view, and then he will hand over that belt on home soil. So that that's my that's my uh, that's my year plan right there. I am highly confident I will I will uh, shut Jose Aldo down um, in spectacular fashion and take over the game. I don't I say it how I want to say it. Yeah, the king speaks however he wants. I'll be fresh after 197. I believe I will dust half a L inside one minute. Um, he is a slower, sloppier version of Aldo. He's a, he's like a bum version of Aldo. So I, I believe in, in absolutely everything. I believe inside one minute I will dust him. I will exit the contest fresh. I will cash the check. I will sign the next contract for UFC 200, the brand new MGM, and we'll go again. 2015 was my year. 2016 is also my year. Every year is my fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> First off, Connor, how, how tall are you, buddy? Five foot nine. All right, I'm five six. You're five four at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. <laughs> five foot four at least. You should stand up because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. <laughs> yeah, all right. Personally, I don't see the. I wish you all the best. I don't think the. I don't think it's going to be any different from the previous contest. But don't worry, yeah, I, I will yard. take that belt from Jose and I will come back hunting for your little midget head. <laughs> okay. right. you... I got to believe that somewhere that doesn't sit right with you, that you, you would like a crack at this guy. So with him sitting there, I mean, is, is, is there something you would like to put into words or is that just not true and, and you're, you're content never fighting this guy if he moves on? No, I mean, for sure. Well, what's he been saying over and over again? He's the money fight. I mean, I'd be stupid not to want that fight. That's all I ask. To be honest, to come up here and tell the damn truth. Good on you, Frankie. Connor, take a look around you. You got a lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. Right here, the hardest hit in 145 pound, the real hardest hit in 145 are right here. This guy TKOs people. When I knock people out, they don't move. They're not gonna, who the is that guy? Who the is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the is that? Um, oh my god. I don't know. When I take that guy's belt, leprechaun. Oh, good one. When I take that guy's belt, I don't. I'm looking around. I don't know what anyone else has for me around here. I might have to jump up and drag Floyd Mayweather out and see what the he's at again. Do you think it's going to take you long? Um, I, I, I don't see him getting out of the first round, to be honest. I, see, I think he's going to come in, approach, and try and make the fight ugly. You know what I mean? He's going to try and make the fight ugly. But as you can see, sitting here next to me, Ryan, I'm just too damn pretty. <laughs> I can't help it, can't decline. It's always better down the line. I'm in the wrong, and I've done it all before.